finally, we're looking at a company that's actually profitable that is going to IPO next week. We're talking about GoodRx today, so stay tuned. What's going on, you guys and girls? My name is Jose. Welcome back to Rico Suave Investing. If you want to learn about the stock market, investing in financial freedom, then you came to the right place. So make sure you click the like button and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today we're going to be talking about GoodRx. And if you don't know what GoodRx is, if you want to know what their IPO is, what the company is all about, stay tuned for that because that's coming up. But basically, GoodRx is a application software that you can download to your phone, iPad or whatever, and you can compare prescription prices, something that's been prescribed by your doctor, and then you can buy them from retailers at a discount. And they also have a telehealth uh, section of the company that they are going to be introducing here very soon. So I'm going to go over all of that for you everything you need to know today but before we begin i want to give a shout out to my patrons these people right here are my superheroes they get a shout out on all of my videos access to my new discord free access to my marketing masterclass, top market news portfolio updates throughout the week and more you can also find their links to their channels in my description i'm on youtube a couple times a week but i'm on patreon and discord every single day so if you don't want to miss anything the link to my patreon is going to be in the description only one dollar per month now back to the video Here's your IPO scoop. All right, so GoodRx Holding is backed up by Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan. Those are the underwriters, right? It's going to sell 34.6 million shares, low price of $24, high price $28, and it should be available to you and I on September 23rd. That is next week. All right, first we're gonna go over this Met City News article that I got from JMac. Thank you, JMac, out there. I appreciate it. If you guys haven't joined our Discord, make sure you go down in the description. There's links to all of our Discords down there. Tons and tons of fun and information, guys. All right, so this article says that GoodRx could seek up to $969 million in IPO. GoodRx priced its long-awaited IPO between $24 to $28 per share. The company could raise up to $969 million in funding. It is going to offer 23 million shares of a common stock. Selling to shareholders will be 11.2 million. Priced at between $24 to $28 per share. GoodRx lets users look up the price of comparisons and negotiates cash payments discounts with pharmacy benefit managers. Currently, 4.9 million people use the app every month. Notably, this is one of the few tech companies going public this year that has actually been preferable, as I mentioned during the intro. Last year, GoodRx reported revenues of $388.2 million, up 55% from the prior year. In the first half of 2020, it brought in more than $257 million. The company also reported a net income of $66 million last year, up 50% from 2018. For the first half of 2020, it reported $54 million in net income. GoodRx has some competition when it comes to prescription price comparisons, for example, single care. Also lets users look up prices and, and get coupons for discounts. But GoodRx hopes uh, to differentiate themselves from the rest with some of the newest features, including telehealth visits. Last year, the company acquired telehealth platform Hey Doctor. Uh, in his update perspective, it disclosed a new acquisition. GoodRx brought Script Cycle, which works with regional pharmacies chain to provide discount offerings for $60 million. So it continues to acquire local businesses and local pharmacies and all that. And the more people they have working with, uh, you know, the more discounts they can offer. So we're going to look at the website here in a minute. You're going to see that they work with CVS, Walgreens, and all these big pharmaceuticals. Here's what Luke Melendez from my Seeking Alpha had to say about their IPO. So that's right here, GoodRx has released preliminary IPO details and the company was worth $2.8 billion in 2018. The company aims to be a major disruptor of pharmaceutical and telehealth sectors. Uh, I cover Anwell in one of my videos. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Allowing customers to price drop and price shop pharmaceuticals like they can with other goods. Uh, this creates competition, guys. When you have different companies uh, you know, pricing different products at different levels or whatever, you, if you can go to a cheaper uh, solution and a cheaper, you know, it saves some money, then customers are going to flood to that uh, provider. Uh, GoodRx is both profitable and growing rapidly with probably the best financial numbers of an IPO in 2020. This is uh, fantastic. The only concern is that the early stage is that these positive factors mean that GoodRx will likely demand an extremely outside valuation, but investors should remain heavily interested. So we are interested, but at what prices, you know? Right now they price from $24 to $28, but you saw what happened with Snow. 
Their ticker symbol on the NASDAQ is going to be GDRX. They are this drug thing, the pharmaceutical market. Now think about the way in which we get prescription drugs, right? A doctor gives us a prescription and there are a couple of pharmacies nearby and more that we can access with mail order, but we have no way of knowing how much drugs will really, really cost and when will they arrive. Nor do we know which pharmacy will give us the best price. All too often we find ourselves paying outrageous prices. According to GoodRx, 20 to 30% of the customers leave prescriptions on the counters due to cost because customers do not follow their prescription, their conditions worsen, and they eventually have to go to more expensive emergency rooms. The end result is one that hurts both patients and medical professionals alike. If you can't afford your medication, then your conditions will worsen. And for, you know, you need a higher dosage of medication and you will pay some steeper prices. And that's just physics. GoodRx operates a website and a mobile app that lets customers price shop. Customers type in the name of the drug and GoodRx produces a list of places where the customer can get the drug with the corresponding price. Kind of like, uh, what was that travel website? Priceline, you name your price. GoodRx gets these prices primarily from uh, pharmacy benefit managers or PBMs and PBMs are also the prime source of income. GoodRx selects a fee from them whenever a customer presents a GoodRx coupon. So it's, it's just a coupon service and you know customers get to save uh, on their uh, prescription medication. The company also offers subscription services to customers including partnership with Kroger and sells advertising on its website. So they have partnership with Kroger and we're going to see some more partners here in the future. GoodRx is also expanding into the telehealth sector, which will help better connect patients with online doctors and serve as an additional source of revenue. If they can partner up with Amwell, I see that as a marriage made in heaven. Here's a little wheel that compares their debt to asset ratio. Right here, you can see the debt is in blue and the assets are on orange. Overall, GoodRx is in a strong financial position that is well above the rule of 40, typically used for tech companies, and they're is little reason to think that its growth and profitability rates will significantly decline in the future. So it's growing, it's following the 40-60 rule, which you know, you know, 40% assets and no more than 60% debt. According to him, there are scenarios where good RX can fail, such as a larger tech company like Amazon entering the pharmaceutical pricing market or the democratic sweep in November followed by a push of healthcare reform. So if, you know, one of the big giant tech companies, you know, decide to do the same thing that GoodRx is doing, like Google or Amazon, then obviously, you know, they're going to have a bigger competition. But I think they're safe for now. And I don't think those big tech giants are trying to get into any type of, you know, telemarketing or telehealth type of uh, market right now at this time. So, yo, let's check out their website right here, GoodRx.com. Find free coupons and save up to 80% off prescriptions. You type right here the name of the drug, find the lowest prices. Save on big on and his soul loft and some of these you already recognize probably. Let's keep scrolling down. Let's see. You can print out your coupons. You can compare prices online, print out your coupons, and then save up to 80%. You can go to your Ralph's, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Rite Aid CVS. That's some of the people that work with them. Uh, they got featured on Dr. Oz. They also offer a little card right there that you can keep in your wallet. You can see some of the price coupons, scroll, keep scrolling down, and just a, just a great way to save on prescription medication, you know? Uh, and you can get the app and just do it all online, and pretty cool. Right here, you got Walgreens, Walgreens, Wal Walgreens, <laughs> that's Walgreens and Walmart together, right? Walmart, CVS, Target, and Safeway. Some of the places you can use their coupons and save money on prescription medication. The LA Times reports that GoodRx shows there's a lot of money to be made from bewildering drug prices. They report that GoodRx benefits from America's healthcare shortcomings by offering coupons aimed to provide users with reasonable prices for prescription drugs. The company also helps bring sunlight to the pharmaceutical market by showing how much different drug stores charge for medicine. Now you can, you know, identify who is trying to, you know, get one up on you. There is no other site like it that we know of, says Marlet. We wanted to create a product where people can find the best pharmacy to go. All right, so when is their IPO? Because this is what we want to know, right? We want to get into this company, hopefully at a good price, $24 to $28, but I got a feeling it's going to double. <laughs> Lately, these IPOs have been going wild, but let's see what the market realist says. 
when is GoodRx going public? They're reported on the Twitter. It's kind of hard for people to see doctors right now. Here's a 30 second video with Doug Hirsch, the founder. Let's check that out. I'm Doug Hirsch. You may already know that GoodRx can help you save up to 80% on your prescriptions. Unfortunately, many Americans can't get to a doctor right now. The good news is that for many health issues, you can see a doctor online. It's easy. Just go to GoodRx.com and with a few clicks, you'll be treated by a licensed medical professional, all from the comfort of your own home. Visits are confidential and affordable. Need a prescription? Your doctor can send it to your pharmacy or have it mailed to you. Get the healthcare you deserve at GoodRx.com. Dude, that's awesome, man. So you can just pick right there straight from the app to see a doctor. So what do you guys think about GoodRx, man? Let me know in the comments below. I'm super excited for this one because I think this is the first one that I've covered since I started covering IPOs that's actually profitable. And we learned about the company. We learned that they're going to be priced from $24 to $28. They're going to be uh, listed next week on Wednesday. So be on the lookout for that. I already bought some Amwell. And if you want to see my IPO portfolio, make sure you join my Patreon, which I share, you know, all my buys and sells on there. So. Are you going to buy some good RX? Let me know in the comments below. But as always, man, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And more important than that, guys, make sure you take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. I bring up the pain. Rick and the mind. I make the micro rain like acid rain. I invest, invest in channel you ever known, y'all. I take your girl, your house, your money, and leave you broke, son.